Hello, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another episode of CSK News. And first off, I do want to clarify, I have time all today to reply to comments. So if you guys want to leave a comment and actually get a reply from me, feel free to down below, guys. Let's hop into our first story, though, and breaking CSGO news out there. Of course, many of you guys are aware our next CSGO major will be in September, hosted in London, guys, for all UK fans out there. And of course, by Face It, their first organization or their first major organizing uh, opportunities there. We're going to see how they do. Apparently, guys, their tickets went live a couple days ago. They already sold out of VIP tickets, and premium tickets are fast on their way to being sold out. A link down down below where you guys can actually purchase your major tickets if you're going to be attending that but also in our big story for today I do want to talk about a new addition for face it other majors of course adding gold stickers other majors doing I guess their own individual things for the first time we've actually seen a new offering here by face it guys a 50,000 pound called the transporter ticket It's actually gonna cost you 50,000 pounds if you want it uh, as far as my knowledge guys the ticket is still available actually I emailed I took it out of my out of my own uh, I guess my own time to email these guys and ask if the ticket was still available because we thought maybe someone actually already bought the ticket itself, the 50,000 pound ticket to go to the major, and some other benefits are actually included with that. I emailed them at IamABaller at faceit.com. That's actually the email you need to actually email if you want the uh, ticket itself. And uh, they reply within 60 seconds that it's still available. So if anyone's curious, guys, if anyone actually purchased this ticket so far, they have not. But if you do want to purchase it, I'll leave that contact email down below if any of you guys are extremely wealthy, because 50,000 pounds equates to about $70,000. Now the ticket itself does come with some great benefits, including a car. Yes. If you pay 70,000 US dollars or 50,000 pounds, you actually get your own face it wrapped Fiat, or I'll show you guys pictures on screen of the car you actually get. That car is worth well under 20,000 pounds though. So where does the other 50,000 pounds go to? I think they actually pay for your accommodations. You're also in the same hotels as the players. And also, which is way worth it guys, you get a tour and on top of that, unlimited food and drinks the entire three day weekend. So it could be well worth it for all of you guys. And again, uh, I'm not really sure if that extends to the entire event though. So maybe you get free food and drinks for the entire two weeks with the new major qualifier and major system, which would be worth, I don't know, 500 pounds. So if, you, if you're willing to spend 50,000, I'll link it down below for you high ballers out there. And also huge shout out to my sponsor guys, ethcrash.io. If you guys want to have the best cryptocurrency gambling site out there right now with the best odds for you guys to win, I'll show you guys some gameplay on screen very shortly. They're my sponsor for today's video as well as tomorrow. So thank you guys very much for that. Again, they have the best margins for all of you guys who can't gamble CSGO skins anymore. And if you are of legal age and you want to gamble cryptocurrency instead, I'll link them down below guys, ethcrash.io. They're one of the best Ethereum gambling sites out there right now. So hope you guys all enjoyed that. Thank you for the sponsor. And on top of that, guys, thank you for the great response as well. And hope you guys understand why I'm taking a sponsor. And also in other news out there for all you Brazilian fans and future SK Gaming fans, we do think now Tem Como, their current three-man roster guys, Phelps, FNX, and Bit, are going to be joined by two more Brazilian players in the future. And again, we do imagine in July this now Tem Como roster will join SK Gaming and become their new Brazilian team. Now, right now, guys, speculation does point towards a lot of Brazilian options out there, although Instagram posts do actually give us a pretty good lead on who now Tem Como is actually going to have joined that trio, the first of which is actually KNG, as you guys can see he's with that current now Tim Como member bit in the Instagram post and also on top of that guys further speculation uh, we also had KNG post this to his Instagram story so it seems almost confirmed I guess you could say in the near future KNG is a possibility for this now Tim Como trio and he could eventually go back uh, and actually join SK Gaming as well of course he was formerly of Immortal before he was kicked off that roster he could be leaving Virtue Gaming the team that actually based the entire team around him and be joining this now Tim Como roster and eventually SK Gaming now a speculation for the fifth member as well could be ex Immortals member himself Horvy. If you guys forgot Horvy, he's actually been in European FPL the past few weeks, actually giving away that he's in Europe right now. A kind of coincidence because if you guys see by FNX's Instagram post as well, that whole roster, that trio of the Natsum Como roster, FNX, Bit, and Phelps are also in Cologne right now. They've been practicing together, so maybe Horvy's also there practicing with those guys. And as you guys can see, he's actually been FPLing with the squad as well. So all those details do lead, guys, between those two, KNG and Horvy. They could be joining now Tem Como, and it would be Phelps, Bit, uh, FNX, KNG, and Horvy to make your future SK Gaming lineup, or right now they'll be now Tem Como. Now on top of that as well, we do have, of course, uh, other Brazilian roster changes happening sometime soon. We're not sure who's going to switch between Team 1 and, of course, Team uh, Virtue or Virtue Gaming, but right now, guys, we do think now Tem Como is going to consist of that new roster, and also on top of that, Horvy is one of the few players out there that's actually been able to acquire a North American visa in the past, so we can really go back and forth between South America and America, which a lot of players are taking for granted nowadays, so Horvy and KNG could join now Tem Como, which would be a, a decent roster. And also in 
very big news. Of course, you guys heard the story about Sadokist a few days ago, and of course the past weekend, where he got a little bit drunk on stream and said some things that are a bit too far and very, very vulgar. Of course, he went on to apologize to the community. I myself forgave him. I think many people out there kind of moved on from the incidents. He actually took a week off from ESL Pro League, but also on top of that, guys, we're not really sure if he announces or actually DreamHack themselves. But yes, for DreamHack Marseille, he'll be taking that event off as well. He'll be replaced by Vince on screen for all of you. So kind of some bigger impact there. Again, we're not really sure if it was actually his own personal, his own personal choice to actually miss the event or the event's choice to actually delay him uh, for not be able to announce there as well. So again, one more break for him and hopefully in the future he will be back sometime soon. Probably for the best though, this close to the instance, just one week later to take off the event. I'm sure he'll be back sometime soon in the future, but definitely seen some repercussions for his actions that he did online. Now on top of that as well, we have confirmed finally, we talked about this many weeks ago guys, the new Ents roster, the finished roster coming back to CSGO that has now officially been confirmed by them themselves. And of course it will be based around former Optic member Alu. A lot of people are very excited to have him back in the game. I myself being one of them, I'm a bit kind of nervous though for this roster out there. A kind of a younger roster with Sergey coming back out of his partial CSGO retirement, him being only 16, uh, 17 years old, a very young teenager there. And again, they're basing it around a two year contract, of course, with Alu. Why I say it's kind of, I'm skeptical right now is because in the history of Ents Esports, no player has ever stayed more than a year and a half. No player ever in the organization's history has ever stayed for the full two years. So they must have a lot of confidence in this roster, guys. We're not so sure how long they've actually signed the rest of the players, but Alu's confirmed been signed for a two year contract. Best of luck to them sometime soon, guys. Ents is back into CSGO, and we'll see how they do. And very lastly, for today's episode of CSGO News, guys, I will be taking off tomorrow. So tomorrow's going to be actually my, my time to actually edit my video, my special video for Saturday, and I'll see you guys Sunday with a big breakdown, a big recap of what happens in the next couple of days. There should be a lot of confirmations out there in time in terms of roster changes and, of course, other CSGO news out there. We also had, of course, Taco join that Liquid ESCA roster. It's heavily expected he will join that Liquid team, guys, in place of Steel, although no one knows any confirmations currently right now. So also when I was recording this episode, I did actually, while I was editing, have to put this back in there, guys, because it's been confirmed that Phelps, FNX, and Bit have actually added KNG. So my fifth speculation, guys, as stated before with all the evidence, I think now Tim Como's fifth member will be Horvy. It could be someone else, but it does seem that's that's the way it's going to lead. And in July, that will be your new SK Gaming roster as of right now. So that's going to do it for today's episode of CSK News, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all for the great comments down below. I will see you all tomorrow or sometime soon with a very special video and Sunday with another CSK News episode. Hope you guys all enjoy. My name is Jake Marley, like you, and uh, goodbye. Thank you